Hi everyone, my name is Terry, and I just thought today I'd make a video about. This is a video I thought it would make in a timely manner. I mean, I hear everybody talking about they want to cut the budget, they want to save money, because of politicians, and then they claim that they're trying to protect my interests as a taxpayer. I want, first off, to positively understand that, first off, I'm a taxpayer myself. I pay taxes just like I pay taxes for the food I just not bought and everything else. However, my problem is this. You gonna, before you talk about cutting other people's pay and pensions, I wish you guys understand that, you know, that again, um, I want to look how much money you guys make on your pensions, especially you guys in, in uh, Congress and in the Senate, how much you guys make in, in pensions. I mean, I realize there's something wrong when, when, you know, we got multi-millionaire politicians that are making almost $200,000 a year and get a congressional pension once they retire. I mean, it don't make sense. You know, if I was a multimillionaire, I'd be willing to give up my pension. If I was a multimillionaire, I'd be willing to even give up my right to Social Security. That's just me. Maybe I'm weird. You know, it's basically a nutshell what I'm trying to say today, and it's this. Austerity begins at home. It don't begin at the state house. It don't begin at City Hall. It don't begin at, in Columbus, Ohio. And it sure as hell don't begin in Washington, D.C. It begins at home with individuals. It begins when a person is willing to make do with a little bit of, bit of money they make each day. It begins when some. It begins when I see when I see T when I see multi-millionaire Social Security recipients who are willing to say, you know what, I'm a millionaire. I got more money than most people have in their 401ks. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to file for Social Security. I'm going to give my rights to it. It begins when I see companies like Walmart, Target, you know, retailers who insist on getting tax payments in order to build mall, in order to build new stores at malls say you know what the times are hard we're gonna waive our right to a tax abatement final point it begin final point it begins when people at the top it says governors that the speakers of the house and any other political leader who's talking about they want to cut the budget, they want to take away the rights of workers to join unions on the name of saving the budget and saving the state. It begins when, when those governors and those and those senators are willing to cut their benefits. I feel con I feel governors and senators, since they're already multi-millionaires, they should have to fend for themselves with health and medical benefits, just like self-employed people like myself who um, own this video company. Or just like, or just like, the, or just like the truck drivers, just like my truck driver uncle who I aspire to be. You should look for your own health and medical benefits, not depend on my hard-earned tax dollars to pay your way. Final point. You know, my final point and the final example of what I'm talking about is, you know, if you guys want to leave from the front, it begins with self-imposed austerity. I mean, Lee Iacocca did it the best back in 19, back in 1978 when he saved Chrysler. Lee Iacocca went ahead and instead of, you know, when he when he told his union workers that they had to take a major pay cut to keep on working and to keep the company going, he made it clear to his workers that he was going to make a sacrifice too. He only paid himself one dollar. One dollar. I challenged Governor Kasich. I challenged Wisconsin governor or any other governor who wants to get rid of collective bargaining rights to cut their pay down to one dollar. I mean, most of you guys got more enough money to do, get, you got most of you guys got more than enough money in your bank account to live off for the rest of your lives. So why don't you know why don't you take a hint from the Iacocca, probably one of the one of the biggest big, one of the most successful cover behind business stories in American history. Why don't you do the same thing? John John Boehner do the same thing in, in Congress. Cut his pay and benefits. That's what I would do if I was rich. 
or the government. That way, when you do cut, when you do cut, cut teachers, firefighters, and trash workers' pensions. They'll say, "Well, the guy at the top took a big cut. We can take a cut too." Again, austerity. Again, as I'm going to state it earlier, I stated in this video, austerity begins at home.